Hello and welcome to another Farm Simulator 19 video. Um, today we are doing the Borgalt DLC mod review. I have this. This is the Borgalt DLC right here. It is $7.99 in the store. Um, you can buy it on farmsimulator19.com. Um, but here is all the things that you get with the DLC. You get this smaller. The smaller hoe drill right here, and it, it's a little bit, it's, it's small, not that, not that small, it's pretty good size, and you got this great big green cart that goes with it, and you can obviously get bigger wheels and stuff. Um, now here's the bigger drill, this is a good amount bigger, I will show it to you, and the bigger green cart, now this is pretty big green cart. Alright, so then you have the first, they have a just a regular disc right here, um, a little bit smaller one, then they have the bigger one. Um, the one in the video that I'm going to be using is this size, you can make it one size smaller, and that's pretty big. Um, and then you have the small planer, I love this thing, it is, it's really cool, it looks it's nice. There is one thing that I don't like about it, but it's not that, not that big of a deal. So we're going to get in here and show you what these things look like. So we're going to start off over here at the small planner. Alright, so here's the small planner right here. I have it hooked up to the um, 835R, 845RT John Deere tractor. Um, yeah, that's the thing about this. You cannot use tires with this, not, not dual tires, because it, it's very sensitive. I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. When you turn the tongue of the planter where you hook it up to the tractor is not long enough to make sharp turns see look at that right there but i'm just i'm just running into it so that is one i mean you can turn you can still turn that's why the tracks work a lot better for it you can still turn really good just you can't turn sharp but all of these are filled up with wheat and we are all in the same field here so we're just gonna make just a little bit down just to see what they look like. This is my first time using them. I have never used them before, so we're going to see what they look like together. Alright, so we're going to unfold it. Alright, now we're going to turn it on. Press it lower down in the ground. Alright, we're going to not. Oh, we're not planting anything. Okay. Alright, how do I lower it down? Okay, here we go. Can I not lower it down? Go. Alright, see, this is my first time using it, so I really don't know. Alright, yeah, we can lower it down on the ground. Mesh, mesh B. Alright, so we're going to lower it down on the ground. I'm just going to get rolling here. See, we can go, only go 11 miles an hour is our tilling speed. Now, right now, I am using a Xbox controller to drive these tractors I have a steering wheel and I could be using the keyboard I could use the keyboard right now right now I'm using the keyboard so if I like the controller it's pretty easy pretty cheap too so if you're on Xbox this is the same thing for Xbox and PS4 they have this mod pack on there so it's a pretty good pack this tractor does look very nice with this planer so Looks really good. This looks really nice. And it plants pretty good too. I mean, it's it drives smooth. Um, yeah, I, I like it. Now this is the Book of Farms map because I've just found a map with good straight fields that we could just drive. Um, yeah, so I like this pretty good. So we're actually just going to stop here. We're going to turn it off. Okay, so now we're going to go to the smaller one of the air disc drills. So we're going to pull this auger back in here. I just filled these up with wheat. Um, I don't think we're going to need that much wheat. So that's why I only put like 45% in there. These things hold a ton of wheat. A lot. So we're going to unfold it here. 
I gotta turn it on. Lower it down on the ground. Is it lowered? Oh, there we go. Now it's lowered down on the ground. Alright, so I'm just gonna get going straight shot. Now this tractor actually does, this John Deere 9RX does come with 9RX, 9RT. What is it? This is a 9RT, right? 9RX, nope, this is a 9470 9RX. Okay. So this is the tractor that I'm going to be using with this. This does come with the board out pack. It, it does not have US versions, so that's why you see these little red and white stripy things on the back. That's just a European thing. This is a really good, I like this, it covers a lot of ground. Um, yeah, it works really well. You can turn very smoothly with it. It stays controlled very well. Yeah, I really like it. I probably use this one a lot. Not as much as a smaller one because I don't usually plant really big fields, but it's nice. It fills up pretty fat quickly, so yeah, I like it. It looks really nice. We're gonna try turning, turning, cause I have not tried turning with this. The tongue is a little bit longer, so this looks like it's be, gonna be really easy to turn. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start turning now. I'm not gonna lift it up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna turn like it is. Let's see if I can't do a sharp turn right here. Oop, oop, oop! That was a bad idea. shouldn't have done that I should have raised it up but that actually turned pretty well and it turned it, fo it follows the tractor so that's a good thing this tractor does work really well for doing it now backing it up that's a different story see it kind of goes on angle we can try to back it up but it's not that big of a deal all right so that's gonna be good for that uh, see now we're gonna get into the bigger one this is the big big tracker alright planting here with this one this one is a lot bigger as you can see this is the bigger tractor and it struggles even with this big giant planter it does cover it does cover a lot of ground but it's good it's pretty good this it's big. I like these tractors that come with it because they're really nice. They are kind of difficult to drive because they kind of kind of moves on you, but it, it works really good actually. So it's, it works really good. Alright, so we're going to end that one right here. And alright, now we're going to hop over to one of the... Alright, this is one of the bigger discs. Oh, this is actually a weeder. Hmm. This is actually a weeder. I did not know that. I thought this was a disc. Huh. Right, let's see what happens here. see does it plow it up no it does not so this is actually a weeder I did not know that all right so now we're gonna go to the disc this is the disc right here but this is the cultivator this is a really nice cultivator actually it's pretty good size and it's actually really nice all right so we're gonna lower it down to the ground see how well it drives It actually works pretty good. I actually like that. I actually really like this. This looks really nice. I don't know if I'd use this big of a tractor with it, but it works pretty good. I like this. 
and see how well it turns. Like I said, it does it does follow the tractor very well. I said you can't turn on a dime like that because it will kind of stop up there. We can. There we go. That's pretty good. That's not that way. All right, well, that's pretty good. That looks that looks nice. All right, that looks good. I like this a lot, like a lot. All right, actually works pretty good. All right, so this is a really good pack. I love this. Um, yeah worked really well so i hope you enjoyed this one thing um the landscaping series will be coming back with some really great stuff um the new mowers that i've been talking about for so long are coming out this weekend so i will send a link to them when they get out in the video and we'll have a they're gonna be it's gonna be nice i'm excited so but I hope.